Technology's bad? Is that the point? No phones, no computers, no technology. All right, we have said goodbye to our phones. All this for an entire week at okay. Beachwood High School. The first day there's anxiety. Some, some of it's physical, like it's like sweating, um, shaking, a lot of like reaching for the phone in the back pocket, um, a lot of, I, I need to get a hold of somebody and I don't know how. Students were led to the principal's office, not because they were in trouble, but to willingly give away their phone and sign away their right to use technology for seven whole days. This social experiment is all part of the curriculum for students as a way to be free from the pressures of social media and video games. I'm not sure if it's the coffee, but a little jittery. You know, I think I use it so much as a buffer in social settings. I need to learn to kind of let go of that and to, you know, have more human interaction, which I know it's horrible to say, but when you grow up in this day and age, it's kind of hard to, you know, keep that mentality that, you know, you have to interact more than being on your phone because that's what everybody else around you is doing. But you guys have constant reminders of where you're not. For teacher Julie Rash, this is her fifth year testing kids. The students aren't the only ones who are affected by this purge. Rash says that the parents can be just as reliant on technology as the students, and it can be just as anxiety inducing for them as well. Raise your hand if your parents have tracked you. Well, you have to know that your parents are going from knowing where you are at every second, literally on a map, and not knowing where you are at all. So, you know, there has to be the communication that we had when I was growing up. We're told there's mixed reactions from students on day seven, some who want their phone back immediately and those who say, I'm good without it. But most everyone says the week without technology was worth it. In Fort Mitchell, Megan Mitchell, WLWT News 5.